next level minute 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 next level minute
Revelation chapter 3. Let us notice Revelation 1 and 8. It says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come. It says, and say, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And what I see it, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, and unto Ephesus, unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos. And unto thy and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Yeah. Amen. Verse 3 and verse 7 and 8 says this. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, right. Yeah. These things said he that is holy, he that is true, and he that hath the keys. Amen. Uh, he that has the key of David, he that opened it, and no man shut it. God. And so therefore the Bible said 
that when he rose and showed himself to his disciples, he ascended back into heaven, decreed and declared that he was coming back again in clouds. Amen. Looking for a church that without spot or without wrinkle. That he would be back. Told them to go and tarry. Amen. In Jerusalem and go to the upper room and wait until the dwelling of coming and fulfilling of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So God used them in many capacities to preach the gospel, to go forth and prevail against the enemy. And so therefore the Bible said that after John and many others had suffered so greatly, amen, and the Bible said that Jesus told them that they were going to be scattered in different places. And so we see that John was vanished, as I said, to the hour of Patmos, amen, which, praise God, many thought that he would be uh, totally destroyed or die or perish by some evil beast. But on a Sunday morning, somebody said Sunday morning, there's just something about Sunday morning. It seems to go those that can't get it together the rest of the week that Sunday morning, for some reason, uh, somebody manages to get their clothes on and pain and other things may be wrecking their bodies, but they try and make that effort to get to the house of God on Sunday morning. Somebody says Sunday morning. Amen. Sunday, Sunday morning is a time when people ought to be motivated to want to do something for God, to want to meet Him, to want to inspire others to come on and let's go to the house of the Lord. I heard David say, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. So therefore, somebody said, come over here, the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Amen. Drink from the fountain that never run dry. Feast from the table of bountiful supply. That means God got the table spread on Sunday morning. Somebody said Sunday morning. Not only does he spread it every day of the week, but somebody said, but Sunday. Uh, I heard uh, one singer say, when Sunday comes. Amen. Everybody needs to know that the devil may chase you all over the world, but Sunday is coming. Somebody said, this is Sunday. The Bible said on the Lord's day, John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Somebody said, get in the spirit on the Lord's day and you shall be blessed. You will hear things that you never heard. You will see things that you never seen. Somebody said, son, come on. Get in God's presence. So the Bible said, John said, amen, uh, on Sunday morning, praise God. John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And I heard a voice behind me. John had heard many things. Amen. But there was no noise of voice like the voice that he heard. It was the voice of the king of kings. The voice of the Lord of lords. Jesus the Christ. Jesus the everlasting God. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. The Alpha and the Omega. Praise God with all kinds of victorious names. He is the El Shaddai. He is the El Gibbon. He is Elohim. He is the Almighty God. He's Jesus been Joseph and Jesus been David and they call him Yahweh. Amen. And so many, praise God, wonderful names. But there's nothing like the name of Jesus. Somebody tell God thank you. John said, I was in the spirit. Amen. And I fell at, my, at his feet as though I was dead. And the Bible 
Bible said, John said, when I looked at him, I saw the king of kings. I saw the great mighty God, the almighty majesty God, the God of glory, the God of eternity. I saw the God with the victory over death, hell, and the grave. I saw God that give hope to the hopeless, give encouragement to the discouraged, give freedom to the bound. Somebody said Sunday morning. John said, I saw him walking among seven golden candlesticks. Somebody tell God, thank you. To give light to the world, which represented the seven churches of Asia Minor. Amen. And God wants the church to know that I'm still alive. Look at your neighbor and God is not dead. that the world seems to be going in. No matter what men are going through, no matter what your body and your mind is going through, but I'd like to encourage you right now, he's still a healer. He is still a mighty deliverer. He is still the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. He said, come unto me, Oh! 
is unstoppable. We got an unstoppable God. The church is unstoppable. The devil can't kill the church. Can't stop the church. Can't stop the saints. He can't stop miracles. Can't stop signs and wonders. Let's claim the prize. The door. 